again? Ah, no, I, I do this all the time. Besides, Ifoma is a very lovely girl. The most beautiful thing I've seen. Oh, come on. Beauty, they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Come on, just give me your moral support, okay? Come on, why not? Hi, a good day to you, dear Informa. Good day. Why are you all so formal? Formal? Uh, well, because the occasion demands such formalities. Um, Nkechi is not here yet. Oh, thank God. Man, I dreaded this whole day. <laughs> Why? Oh, the way she stares at me makes me feel like she's gonna rape me someday. Please, <laughs> that me. Not so fast. I want your opinion on something. Um, excuse us. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, excuse us, ma. Hey, what is it? I want to ask her to marry me. You're not serious. Oh, yes, I am. Ah, God. I mean, not so soon. Take your time. Study this girl. She's beautiful. But look beneath the skin. Is she what you want? Oh, yes, she is. One or two more weeks will not kill you. Let's come back from the coast. Then you can, you know, keep it, keep it back. Big, big, come away. Let's go. Uh, sorry, we're, um, we're like a relief, you know. Uh, I hope you guys are not up to something. Oh, come on, trust me, you know. Am I safe? Oh, very yeah, safe. Yeah, very safe. safe. Um, hi. Hey, where are the drink now? You're looking fine. Just bear to myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, guys, I'm off. <sighs> My key. Again, <laughs> <laughs> some baby Mikey. Down. <laughs> Sweetheart, I can't make it back sooner. If I could, I would. But the course is for three weeks. That's an awful length of time to be away from her, you know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> But it's a can't help situation. Mm -hmm. Just help me take care of them, eh? They know. <laughs> so you guys have heard. I'm the one in charge here. So, any messing around, be sure that headmistress will knock your head. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Yes. Benita, you heard her. No more coming back home late and no boys in the house, okay? Okay. But there can be boys outside. <laughs> ah, okay. Try it. And I'll put whoever it is in a big drum of groundnut oil. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you guys, anything you need, just call it from, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Hey, come on. Uh. <coughs> get Just out of here. Take care of yourself, okay? And help you take care of them. Look, you guys be good. Some to read your book. Read, read. I will. Mm -hmm. Bye bye now. First thing first. Benny, do you have any lectures today? Yes, but I'll be through by 3 p.m. Oh, um, I'll give you some money. 
When you come back from school, stop over at the market and help me get some food stuff. I'll come over after work and help you guys prepare a decay soup. Okay, you have plans of making us fat before my brother comes back. I only try. <laughs> 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 Spoon down before you swallow everything. <laughs> I wonder when I will learn to cook like this. Ah, you're also a good cook. Not like this one, though. <laughs> Sometimes I feel sorry for brother. <laughs> sorry? Why? Because by the time you guys get married and he eats your food for six months, he'll be so fat that we'll be able to pass through this door. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> by the way, who told you I want to marry your brother? Yeah. <laughs> you think you are blind, eh? <laughs> Whether you think so or not, you are already Mrs. Ifoma Akalu. There is no man in his right senses that will eat this kind of edikaiko soup and allow you to walk out of the house. <laughs> See, honestly, sometimes, if I did not know you were from Ibo, I would have saved you from Calabar. <laughs> something is wrong with you. <laughs> something. Is something wrong? No. You don't like the food? No, I like it. Then what is it? I forgot to tell brother that the registration for Nico has started. And it might close before he comes back. Is that the problem? Why you say that? If you needed anything, then you should tell me. Okay. How much is it? 3,500. Um, will the day after tomorrow be too late? No. Okay. I'll go to the bank tomorrow. I'll pick up some money, then I'll give it to you to get your forms, okay? <laughs> Thank you very much, Ati. Thank you very much. Ara, eat up. And make sure you finish everything, though. Okay. Then I don't like any leftovers. <laughs> If he likes, let him leave it. By the time I finish this, I'll clear everything on that plate. I'm sorry, sister. You won't even find anything to clear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guys, if they put me in his care now, only God knows what I'm going to wear. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Are you sleeping over? No. Um, you guys have to be on your own for tonight, okay? I didn't tell my flight mate I'm staying out. But not to worry. I'll be here tomorrow. And you know what? I will stay till OK comes back. OK, and after that, back to my flat. I'm back to work. Yeah, hey, we shall see you. You're doubting me. Of course. <laughs> You're going to stay in this house. Let's back. Hey, what's up? Hi. I'm fine. Ah, yeah. What are all these? No, why are you so sick? You had a sleep. Oh. Oh, right. Well, where is Benny? She's not yet back. Oh. Well, I stopped around at a fast food job and I got ice cream and meat for you. Thank you very much. I hope that I'll be able to hold it to cook something. Oh, uh, please help me do this in case, okay? Okay. Hi. Hey. Hi, Billy. I'm all right. How was school today? It's okay. Hey, what did I do? Billy, you're back already. Yeah, so to how are you? I'm fine. My God, you bought all this for me? Well, yes. I should be more <laughs> photos with that. Yeah, it's just... So good. <laughs> well, I got paid a bonus in the office, so mm -hmm. I stopped over at a boutique and I got this. And I hope you guys will love it. Of okay. course, you're simply you too much. much. Thank you, I guess this is yours. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mm, this is beautiful. You like it? Of course, I love it. That's nice. Let us not get 
carried away, you've got some cooking to do. You know your brother is coming back to love. Yeah. So, and there is no food in this house. God, I can't wait to wear this to school. Bro, so Paco, let's head for the kitchen. All right, thank you very much. Ah, so Things um, we need to talk about, mm. and um, I uh, I think that um, this is um, the right time to uh, to, um, to, I'm, to. I'm waiting. God, I didn't know this would be too difficult. Um, um well. <clears throat> Benita and Somto told me how well you treated them while I was away. Uh, you know how very special they are to me. And um, I'd like to say thank you. It's okay. Uh, I've also been thinking about um, a, a lot of things, especially co concerning the future, our future. I want to settle down, and um, I, uh, I, oh God. Well, from what you have refused to say, it seems you are asking me to marry you. Look, it will make me the happiest man on earth. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Look, why don't you go back to my place, stay together, and maybe spend the night together? <laughs> Slow down. I have to sleep in my house tonight. Oh. Okay. 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 Uh, we have a whole lifetime ahead of us, eh? But you won't deny me dinner tomorrow. Oh, no. My dear husband. The word is bond. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I thought some people don't want to come back home today again. Hmm. So what happened? You can say whatever you want to say. Mm. It will not scratch me one bit. <laughs> because I am getting married very soon. Oh. Married? <laughs> Who wants to marry a mistake like you? <laughs> hey. Listen, a oh. few minutes ago, mm. OK asked me to marry you. You're not serious. Hey. Oh, you want me to relay this speech to you word for word? Tell me you're serious. I am serious, my girl. I am not getting married. Hey, hey, baby. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy. You know what? It's for you, baby. I am taking you out this night. We need it. Hey, I am baby. I am baby, baby. Oh, you know. I have He traveled to Portacot and I'm left alone in this godforsaken house. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm here. <laughs> Mama, he asked me to marry him. And what did you tell him? Yes, of course. And that makes you happy? Why not? You say his brother and sister are still living with him? Yes, they are. Mama. 
the only time you can start being happy in that family is when his brother and sister are out of the house. You and I are in this problem today because I allowed my husband's brothers and sisters to be involved in my marriage. I thought I was being a nice woman. But what did they pay me back with? For all my kindness. They conspired and threw me out of my husband's house. If we must marry that, uh, what is that his name? Kechuku. Okay, Kechuku. Okay, then his brother and sister must be long gone before you move in. Mama, Sunto Chuku and Benita are two of the nicest people I've ever seen. <laughs> A puppy is nice until it becomes a dog that can bite. If you allow them stay with you and they see the whole of you, <laughs> then you will know that being nice is only a cloak that can be put on and off when you want. Your husband's siblings must be crushed like cockroaches. If not, you will find yourself out of the house. That is when you would have finished helping them build his home and business. If you like, listen to me. If you like, don't. I have done the work of a mother. It's all right. Uh, Mama, uh, we shall be leaving. Thank you very, very much. I must say that I've not only found a very, very good wife in your daughter, if he, I've also found a very, very good mother-in-law. <laughs> Thank you, my Thank sir. you very Thank much, Amma. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, You're welcome. Thank you, Amma. Yeah. Ify! Yes? I'm ready. Okay. Mama, let me just go warm the car. Thank you very much. Okay, Mama. Okay, Mama. As I told you and okay last night, I want both of you to live in peace. Biko, eh? Uh, if I may ask, does your father know about you and okay? No, Mama. Just make sure you inform your father and uncles in the village. No matter how bad my relationship with your father is, we still have to follow tradition and at least do the introduction ceremony. He's still your father. No, he did not help me to train you and now. <laughs> Don't worry, Mama. I will inform them. It's all right. Uh, I, if I'm, I also told you that the first thing you do as soon as you move into his house is to make sure that your husband's siblings leave his house. That is the most serious challenge you have in marriage right now. And until then, there can be no peace. Men are vermin and should be treated as such. Your husband right now may look like the best thing that has ever happened to you. But if you don't put him in his place right away, you'll be heading for grief. Don't give in to any nonsense. Men are meant to serve and attend to our everyday need. They should be our slaves, not the other way around. I have heard, Mama. It is not just hearing. The important thing is to do the things you have heard. I am talking to you with the voice of experience and as your mother. I'm saying all this for your own good. Mama. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Take care of yourself, eh? I will. All right. Just do what I told you. Oh? Yeah. Safe journey. Just for the weekend. Don't let her stay too long. Because if she does, 
by the time she comes back, I would have given out her room to someone else. <laughs> Whose room? Your room. Look, you can go right ahead. She would not be needing the room again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why are you so He's in the car. Are you ready now? Yes. All right. Mm. I can see you're scared. You can say that again. But I'm actually looking forward to it. Well, no need to worry. Our parents are the nicest people you can ever meet. <laughs> Girl, take care of yourself. Drive carefully. Yeah, thank you very much. Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 -bye. that is taking a hold on us. Ha, Mama, don't worry. We are here to deal with that hunger. Mama, where is Papa? Uh, he's gone for a meeting at Igwe's palace. Okay. Uh, good evening, Ma. Good evening. Mama, you're too curious. Is it a grand to ask questions? <laughs> no, Mama. Oh, you didn't ask me any question now. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, Baba. Since you're so eager to know. This is Ifoma. The girl I told you and Papa about in the letter I wrote to you. Okay. My daughter, you're welcome. Thank you, Mama. We've heard so much about you. <laughs> yeah, Mama. Yeah. You've not heard anything, no. She hates another brother's tomato. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You're welcome, eh? Come, let's go inside. Thank you. Mommy Sonia. No. She know your tomato. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. Like you. <laughs> uh, Maggie. <laughs> and when will that be? Mm, the final exam. Mm. Mm. They said we are starting next week, but we're not sure. The student leaders are planning a protest march to the government house and it might lead to the closure of the school. Why would they not allow you people to finish your examination? What are they protesting against? Papa, I don't know if it is not water, it is light or something else. We must find something to protest against. <laughs> Why is your wife? Mama, she is resting. It was very tiring, Jenny. <sighs> Papa, you're not saying anything. Yes, sir. What's the use of pinching the parcel which we will eventually open? Hmm. Papa, pinch this one, oh. tear it open, oh. you will never find anything bad. Papa, I have never seen a woman like this before. I don't know where brother found her from, but if I were a man, I would marry her myself. <laughs> Why is she giving you people to eat? Mama, that's another thing. When she cooks, the whole world stops. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you are so fantastic. Uh, Papa. <laughs> You know she even gave me money to register for my exams when Bodoke was not around. If I see any other woman in this house, this house will not contain all of us, so... Ah, <laughs> I'm saying it too. Uh, 
Are you people telling me that this girl is as good as you are sounding? Hmm, Papa, she is even better. Hmm. The decisions we make will not be in a hurry. We will have to watch her. Oh. Oh. Okay, you. You must be very tired. Mama, you're right. Uh, let me go and uh, rest. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Papa, good morning. Good morning, my daughter. You should leave the sweeping for the younger ones to do when they wake up. Huh? Papa, I'm awake. They're all tired. You know I was the first person that went to bed last night. So allow me soup. If you say so. Um, when they wake up, tell them that I have gone out. Huh? I'll be back shortly. I'll tell them. Uh, my daughter, do not stay outside too long. It's a cold morning. Don't worry, Papa. I'll be alright. If you say so. I hope you slept well. I did, Mama. Hey. <laughs> ah, Mama. We shouldn't be doing all this while we are around. If I don't cook for my children, who will? I don't do this every day. Let me do it. I know, Mama. But for now, allow me to do it. If you insist. I do. The kind of hunger feeling now can keep to elephants. My friend, go inside. The food will soon be ready. I would rather wait here. That reminds me. Where is Okechukwu and your sister? Ah, uh, they have gone out. Gone out? Ah, uh, those ones. Would they rest if they've not greeted everybody in this village? <laughs> <laughs> you two go and rest. Uh, Mama, I think you should do the same. Uh, go and rest. You want me to go and rest? Yes, Mama. You do the cooking alone. I will finish everything before you know it. Oh, Mom, darling. Huh? Thank you, Mama. Thank you very much. All right, Mama. Nangwa, let's go in. She wants us to go in so cheap. And if you can, you know, sharp, sharp. Ah, don't worry. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, did you say you people will be going back tomorrow morning? Uh, yes, Papa. That's okay. Um, it's a good thing that uh, you brought a former home. We have observed her. She's a good girl. <sighs> Thank you, Papa. I have made inquiries about her family. Her father is a good man. It is her mother that uh, has questions about her character. How, Papa? You know she does not live with her husband. I know, Papa. But don't worry. Um, that will not stop us. Papa, you mean you approve of Ifoma? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Papa, thank you. Papa, thank you. <laughs> Mama, what about you? <laughs> well, Sonto and Benita were not exaggerating at all. The girl is a very, very good girl. <laughs> Ah, oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Look, Mama. Uh, there are only a few like Ifoma in the whole world. You're right. <laughs> so, my son, when do you want us to go and see her father? Uh, Papa, I am ready to go even today. Uh, Ifoma is not the kind of woman one finds and delays, Papa. Uh, you're right. <laughs> you're very, very uh, right. <laughs> then you have to postpone your journey back to Lagos. No problem, Papa. Let us do what must be done. No problem, mm -hmm. Papa. Thank you very much, my brothers and sisters. 
for the help you gave me yesterday when you informed my daughter and her husband people came for the introduction ceremony. <laughs> thank you again. We thank you, Mali. We have no choice but to help. But remember that when a lunatic walks around naked, it is only his family that feels ashamed and not him. Through what you have spoken, Madi, uh, but there is something I want uh, Madi to understand. The fact that the lizard knocks his head always does not mean all is well. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't understand you. Uh, you won't understand. I spent a lot of money entertaining our in-laws. So I want to have my own share of what they brought. <laughs> oh, okay, we are not quarreling. I will give you something. But remember that the condition one meets the river determines the type of fish you will catch. I hope you are not in any way saying I should forget it. No. He is saying that as we are sharing, let us remember uh, Mateda, a former mother. Nadi. Nadi. Did I hear you call Mateda? Ah. I'm pitying you, Nadi. Where have your memory gone to? Yes. He knows what he's saying. My wife left this village many years ago with my two children, Ifoma and Nandi. And mm. what did you do? If I talk now, you say I never went to school. That uh, Matilda read primary six. That Matilda is more knowledgeable than me. And is she not? What type of knowledge does she have? Is it the knowledge of the leopard skin? Matilda is just. Shut up! Do you talk too much! Why should she shut up? Is she not a daughter of this land? Now listen to me, Nadi. It is the community one knows that he goes to perform a dance. You don't talk to her like that. You people should better hurry up. I have to go back to my husband and children. Um, Egundo, turning round does not place one's buttocks in front. Come back, let us settle this matter once and for all. I think you are right. <laughs> Oil, oh. Papa, oh. you're ready to leave. Uh -huh. My son, Papa. may God grant you all journey messages. Eh? Amen, Papa. Amen. Papa, thank you very much. Eh? Thank, you, thank you, Papa. Mama. <laughs> Mama, thank you very much. Eh? Thank you. Take care of yourself. Oh. You people should live in peace. Eh? We will, Mama. No problem. Okay. <laughs> hey. Throw the key. Ha, that's it. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Don't go. Bye. Hey, farmer. Mama. Be careful with the way you feed them before they grow out of shape. Mama. Okay. Bye bye. Safe journey. Welcome, Mama. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you, Mama. How about your parents? They are fine, Mama. Uh, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> eh? You are taking good care of yourselves. Uh, Thank God, Mama. Uh, welcome. Thank Let's you. go in. Uh, Mama, um, I brought some things to you. Ah, you're okay. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> Thank you, my son. Thank you. Uh, uh. what we gain by living outside Lagos. You see, the river provides us with fresh fish and the soil gives us fresh vegetables. No wonder you're looking so very young, Mama. <laughs> what do you think that my living here 
is your twin sister. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Very serious. Uh, Mama, more still. If he also knows how to cook. <laughs> she has to. In fact, I took out time to teach her how to cook. <laughs> I did that so that her husband will enjoy the food benefit of a good home. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. <laughs> you see, a good home is basically made up of the husband, the wife, and maybe the children when they come. Your first duty is to make your wife happy by providing her with a comfortable home. Anyway, let me not say much. Both of you are adults. I understand, Mama. <laughs> if he deserves the very best. Oh. <laughs> uh. When are you going back? <sighs> well, we're leaving tomorrow. That's good. Eat your food while I do some other things at the backyard. Uh, okay, Mama. so beautiful that I think we should forget about breakfast and go back to bed. <laughs> Don't you ever get satisfied? I have every intention of making twins. Oh. And you know, it takes a lot of effort to make them. Hmm. I won't spend that effort making them this money. That's the best way to wake up. Oh. Okay uh, then. I just have the feeling that we're going to eat burnt breakfast this morning. Can't a guy kiss his wife in the house anymore? I didn't say that. I was talking about the breakfast being burnt. Okay, Benita, if you want quick breakfast, help me get the plates. Oh, why should somebody come in when... Well, well, Dear wife, wake up. Your husband has to eat before going to work this morning. What is it now? I'm tired. Leave me alone. Ify, I said I was going to work. Sweetheart, why don't you tell your sister to help you prepare some food? I'm too tired to do anything this morning. Doesn't mean you're not going to go to work? No. What's that supposed to mean? Exactly what I said. Will anybody kill me if I don't go to work? I don't want to do anything this morning and that is final. Doesn't mean I'm going to go to work hungry. something to eat. I am starving. Sorry, brother. I have a quiz for 8 o'clock. And it's already 7.45. I don't want to be late. I guess I'll have to do it myself then. Uh, what about Ifona? I don't know what's wrong. But she's feeling out of sorts. Don't bother yourself. Okay, brother. I'll see you later. 
Father. Hello, married man. Hope you've not forgotten that you have a meeting this morning. I'll be there in the next 20 minutes, if I can find something to eat. What do you mean if you can find something to eat? What did you marry your wife for? My brother, I guess it's one of those mornings. Well, whatever you do, make sure you bring yourself down in the next 20 minutes. Else, the general manager will have your head for dinner. Answer the phone, my friend. Brother, she's not yet back. I don't understand what's going on here. I don't. Maybe she had a flat tire or something. What is this for? Doesn't she have a phone? Look, wherever the bloody car is, she should leave it there and go back home. Look at the time. Oh, sweetheart. I am so sorry. Sorry? What for? For coming back from work by 11 p.m.? But I said I'm sorry. Does that make what has just happened now right? Huh? The managing director called a meeting for all departmental heads. And it lasted till this time. Oh, good. But I said I'm sorry. It looks like you want to make a scene out of this. But you have a phone. You could have called or at least answered your phone. There are people who get worried over what happens to you. What was that you said? Who invited into the discussion? Oh. So, this has become a family dissection hour. I knew. Next time, I'm having a discussion with my husband and you join in without being invited. Brother, what is wrong with her? I don't know. But I intend to find out right now. Brother, please, be careful. She might be pregnant. I hear that pregnant women behave funny and sometimes bite. Please. Good night. Ifoma, what was that all about? Listen, I married you and not members of your family. Least of all, that one that calls herself your sister. The observation Benny made was absolutely right. You had a phone on you. You could have called to tell us we were being delayed. Whether her observation was right or wrong, she has nothing to do with it. If I'm having a discussion with you, none of them should join in. I am not their mate. Ifoma, is there anything wrong? The only thing wrong is your Madison family. They should keep their hands and eyes off my affairs. But I thought you liked Benny and Son to you. I do not say I don't like them. The only thing I don't like is them being too smart for their own good. I am tired of cleaning for them, cooking for them. I am not yet a mother, you know. When I become one, I can handle things. I'm sorry I shouted at you. It's just that the pressure is getting to me with work and everything. That is why I asked Mama to come and stay a few days and help me out. She's also coming with Namdi. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Shouldn't I have been told about this before you started inviting them? Well, I'm telling you now. Namdi's on holiday. And you know, 
he can't go to the village. So I, I think instead of roaming around, doing nothing, he should come here and make himself useful. Doing what? What does Sung told me in this house? Wash those plates up till now. Sorry, I'm supposed to wash them this morning, but my exam starts this morning. I don't care if you're writing a PhD thesis. Wash those plates before you leave this house, my friend. But I'm late. Okay, I promise to wash them as soon as I come back. I just hope you're not planning on discovering my backside this morning. If you good morning. What did you just call me? What? What did you just call me? I don't understand. I called you your name. I see. You no longer have respect. Hmm. Benita or whatever you call yourself. From today on what? You call me auntie. Do you understand me? <laughs> yes, auntie. Better. Something is wrong. This is not a farmer. Of course. What happened? I did not wash those plates in the kitchen. That's all. You didn't tell her I said I would wash them. But she did not give me the chance to explain. It's all right. Don't worry. Whatever is wrong, we will soon find out. I hope so. Hey, who do we have here? Benita. Brother Matthew. So I finally know I'm going to have a great day today. <laughs> How? Anytime I see you, I always have a sure great day. No matter what happens during the day. No matter what happens, baby. God. Please, it's my brother in. Yes, he's out. And you'll not get to see him unless you promise me a date. <laughs> hey, God. <laughs> Do you want to get to kill me? Who will tell him? Me or you? Hell, if you make so much noise, we'll elope. <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, I'm in a haste, okay? I'm okay. worried somewhere. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and see him, okay? okay. I hope to see you when I get back. Alright. Okay. Take care of you. Yeah, I hope Bye. so too. Bye-bye. <laughs> you may go in now. Okay. Thank you very much. No lecture today? There is, but I wanted to talk with you. Any problem? Yes, it's your wife. Ifoma? That's the only one I know. Brother, I don't know what has come over her. She's becoming bitchy. And she finds fault with everybody at every point in time. She's making life difficult for everybody. This morning, after harassing Sonto for not washing the dishes from dinner last night, knowing that the little boy has exams to do this morning, she turned around to tell me that from now on what? That I should call her auntie. Please, brother, talk to her. Talk to her. This is not how we started. I, she should not do this kind of things. All I want is peace. All right, Benny. I'll talk to her. But for peace sake, if Ifoma wants you to call her auntie, call her auntie. It will remove nothing from you. After all, don't forget she's no longer my girlfriend. She's now my wife. And she demands a little respect from you. Hmm? I'll respect her all I can. But not when she insults me. <laughs> don't worry. She will not insult you again. Come on, smile. <laughs> That's my girl. Um, brother. I have to go. Okay. Somebody promised me. 
lunch and I don't want to miss it. You were sent to school to read, my friend, not to go out on dates. <laughs> yes, sir. Make sure you come back home earlier. Auntie, good afternoon. It was really hot today. The sun must have had a plan to burn down everything on earth. Really? Benita? Yes, sir. What is that you're wearing? Oh! Slippers, and they're really beautiful. Whose slippers? I don't know. I saw them outside the bathroom door and I picked them up. Mm, I said it. You don't have respect. So, is it everything you see that you was touching? Did you ask for permission before putting your feet into the slippers? Oh, or you think I bought it for every riffraff in this house? Excuse me. With all due respect, I can take anything from you. But please, don't insult me. What was that that came out from your mouth? You talk back at me? Why won't I talk back at you? What has gone into you that you're behaving like a mad woman? Oh, you call me a mad woman? That's your interpretation. Your brother will hear of it. Definitely. If you don't tell him, I will tell him myself. If you put your fingers in the fire, expect them to be burnt. Who is that coming? Ah, hey. Mama! <laughs> oh, welcome. How are you? I've been expecting you. I am fine, thank you. <laughs> now, the hey, well, How are you? Oh, sister, where you left me? I came to the house, your daddy. And Mama said you have left for Port Harcourt. Oh, yes. There was nothing doing that God forsaken house. So, I went to see some of my friends in Port Harcourt. Mama, welcome. How about my in-law, Biko? Oh, he has gone to work. Yeah. <laughs> Will you take your house out of state? Who asked you to help? Busybody. Mama, uh, let me take you to you. No. My friend, you're not! Namde Namde What is it? Don't you think you should take that bucket and help brother wash the car? <laughs> what did you just say? I said you should take that bucket and help brother wash his car! What did you call the car? His own right? So he is washing his car and that has nothing to do with me. He has not invited me to help him. And I do not involve myself in things I'm not invited into. If you feel so strongly about it, why not go ahead and help him and forget me? You are very stupid. Hmm? You sit down in this house and eat. And when it comes to work, you dodge. Beg your pardon. Beg it down. Don't sweat me this morning. If you're looking for trouble, why not go and look for it elsewhere? And forget me. Good morning. Benny, good morning. Why is your countenance like this? Brother, I, I don't know what you're going to do. But I can't continue sleeping in the same room with a woman that refuses to talk to me. My wife has not talked to you. Since they came, she has not spoken one word to me. She doesn't even understand me when I greet her. Benny, if you don't want her to sleep in that room again, where would she sleep? I don't know and I don't care. Including that one that calls himself Namdi. He has even taken over some of those rooms. Benny! If Omar's mother and brother are part of us now, they have as much right to this place as you have. So, let's all stay in peace until they go, okay? 
After all, they're not planning to stay here forever. Come on, chat up, chat up, chat up. Is this what you have to do every morning? Huh? Mama, I cook the food. I wash the plates after their royal highnesses have finished eating. I sweep the floor when they make it dirty. Before I even start thinking about myself. This has to stop. I told you before you got married, the former, that your husband's siblings must never live with you. But you did not hear. No! To tell you the truth, Mama, I am tired of this whole thing. What else am I to do? And his brother and sister. And you are his wife. When both of you lay your head on that pillow, that is when you will achieve all that you want. If you don't start now, reformer, don't be surprised when they succeed in throwing you out of this house. Mama, help me over my dead body. <laughs> I once said that, my child. But it is better to start now than to remember that you would have acted. Hmm? Stay there until you die. And when they succeed in killing you, they will go and marry another wife. I thought you said you're no longer going to bring work home anymore. Yes, but I can't help this one. But don't worry, I'll soon finish. Uh-huh. That reminds me. When is a mother and Namdi leaving? Are you by any chance planning to drive them away? I just asked a simple question. Is that any reason to get angry? I should be asking you that. Why are you asking me when my mother and Nandi are going to leave? When did they come? I think it's time to talk. About what? About this your attitude. Suddenly you've become all so quarrelsome. You're having problems with Sonto. You're having problems with Benita. You're having problems. Hold it there! Why will I not quarrel with everybody in this house? When I married you, did I marry them? Am I supposed to carry their problems? Then how come I'm being sided with them? Half of my salary I brought home day before yesterday is missing. What? Is your money is missing? I have not said anything. Because now, you accuse me of calling your siblings thieves. And that's not all. The other day, your sister called me a mad woman. And all you do is stand here and ask me what is going on. What do you think is going on? Wait. My own sister called you a mad woman? If your parents trained tips, mine did not. What are both of you doing here? Brother, where do you want me to sleep? With a woman who doesn't even talk to me and who smells louder than a drunken pig. Shut your mouth, Epita. Shut your mouth. I'm not, brother. Can't you hear the noise coming from Somto's room? He has exams, but he cannot read in his room anymore because one hooligan had started to turn the place into a nightclub. Listen here, you sharp mouth a little twat. No matter what happens in this house, it does not give you the right to call my wife a mad woman. I did not call her a mad woman, brother. I only asked her if she was mad after she called me a riffraff. You should know your bounce, Benita. You're beginning to overstep them! Ah, uh, brother, can't you see what is happening here? Shut your mouth, eh? Shut your mouth, both of you! Now listen here. I pay your school fees, feed you, and both of you live under my roof. Now all I demand from you is respect for my wife and I. If I don't get that, both of you are going out on the streets. And by the way, what happened to the money my wife brought home the other day? What money, brother? What money? 
Keep on asking me. But I'm giving both of you only until tomorrow morning to find that money. If not, Sure, it will fit me to perfection. Mm -hmm. hmm. So, how much does it cost? Just one thousand two hundred. Ah, go and say that, my friend. Which one is one thousand two hundred? Is it because it has gone and come back from the dry cleaners? Ah. Is it not second hand? Come on, Akrik. Don't mind having. You can call them whatever you like. All I know is that you did not follow me to Kotonu to buy them. And I knew how much I spent paying those customs men on the way. Oh, Benita, look at this one. You can as well get it for yourself. Yeah, yeah. Are you buying them or you're just admiring it? Uh-uh. Take it easy now. How will you pour it? Don't come and pick it for me. Auntie, welcome. Welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> so, Benita, you and your friends, I have decided to turn my house into a marketplace, Abby. We're sorry, ma. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you clean out of this place? Will you go out of my house? Look at them. And you? You think? Because I've not spoken in this house, you can afford to act anyhow. Well, I've got news for you. Let this be the last time you bring people into my home without my permission. Are you hearing me? Who did you hiss at? Who did you hiss at? Are you mad? Ah! Oh God! They killed you! Something wrong with you? I lost you. You talk to my sister! You! You man! What is it? Mama! My waist! Hey, student! Hey! 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 What shall I see? Come on. You dare lift a finger and give it my daughter. See my wife. You! Soto! Oh. Useless children. Hey! I told you. I told you, didn't I? You go near You have seen it with your eyes. Woman! Sorry, sister. Why didn't you come here out in time? I know. 